Hi. Okay. Hi. <laughs> okay. okay. This will be a first. I know we tried this a couple of weeks ago, but it was like a recorded. So now we're live on Zoom, but I think it's being filtered through to Facebook Live. I can't. Yes. See, uh, okay. So uh, before we get started, I don't know if any ladies are on here yet, but let me now see since you're on. I wanted to admit you. I want to kind of see real quick if I can go to um, Facebook and see what's happening. If they're, let me do that. So ladies, anybody that's on, thanks for um, being patient with us. Give us just a few minutes, get the technical stuff up and we'll start talking. Um, all right, so I can't, um, I still can't see that side. Can you see the Facebook by any chance, Melissa? Let me see. Okay. I'm going to leave. Go. Yeah, I'm just going to go back to zoom this is why ladies get like help with people on the live calls with them to manage that so one day <laughs> i'll bring someone on to do that because i just went back to zoom for now and then it says it's being recorded live on facebook i just can't see if anyone's joining at this point but that's probably fine i don't know if you can see it from your end but... i'm in here oh yep i'm oh yes we are you can there. see it okay so if you look at facebook i'll stay on zoom and that way, if anyone joins, we only say hi to them. Because I did put this invite on Zoom, ladies. So if any of you that are in Headhunting Housewives, this is a group for all of you ladies, not just Melissa and I. We created this for you. If you're going through the career shift or if you want to become a career coach or learn what we're doing. So um, that link, you actually get an invite on the Zoom call. So maybe today you're going to watch it you know, live on Facebook. If you want to jump on, um, I'm more than happy to let you in. You don't have to speak. You just be kind of one of the participants with us. But um, that's how we'll do it. And I think Melissa will get better at this each week, I guess, right? So the ladies, can, they can learn with us because really in today's age, I think all of us women are going to have to be doing this if we're starting an at-home online business, right? Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> What's that? Have to be visible. Exactly. Exactly. So um, anyway, so anyone, if anyone's on, I'm the delay, just um, put a heart or just something to her see or there. And if you have any questions, I'm not sure if Melissa can yet see if there's any questions going on in the Facebook, but if you have any questions, feel free to put them in the chat and then we can ask, answer things even live time for you. Um, which is, which is it? Yeah. Do you see where that is? Yeah. <laughs> seen by one person. It's probably, no. okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. And this will be a replay. I don't normally have a 4 p.m. slot available. Um, but it gets so dark now early in the Northeast. I'll learn my office was dark by that time. So I'm glad we're doing this at two, but I'll replay. I'll post the replay. I think Facebook does that automatically, ladies, but I'll repost that for you. So today we'll just take like, I think like the next, whatever, 20 minutes, half hour when we feel like chatting. It's always fun to spend time with you, Melissa. And I figured, I know the last time we talked about kind of a little bit of a testimonial recruiting wise, what got you into recruiting, um, you know, almost whatever, 15, 20 years ago. Right. And I feel like today, um, if our intention for this call is to shift and focus about career coaching, a little bit like we spoke about before, but in starting your own business right. even around it, right? So you can become a career coach and just go work for someone or a company, um, you can do it by the hourly, um, or you can decide to start a coaching business. And this isn't only just for um, career coaches. I mean, really, there's a lot of women coaches out there right now, right? I keep thinking of you now, as long as she's watching, but she should be having a whole thing on farming and flowers, right? There are ladies that should be yeah. doing coaching and training. So I would watch that. How do you make your edelberry syrup? You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> and then I would zoom in. I would go live that. So I think ladies that we can help from a call like say live, you see what Melissa and I are doing. We don't know what we're doing exactly either. Like today, using this online, we want to be on here, even though we're scared and nervous and, you know, the vanity comes in and, you know, how we look and how we come across, you know, that you just can't put all that behind you. You look beautiful, Melissa. <laughs> uh, put all that behind you because really like that's like I always tell myself that's kind of selfishly like, thinking we're here to serve other women right we're here to serve them help them get better jobs move into better careers become coaches online so if you can learn live from us even in our messy state you know and how we're doing it and what we're doing it's really all about you know kind of weekly habits right and what you're doing we do it you know through like a 10-week plan that I kind of teach and listen I incorporate into that but, um, but really just to give, you know, to kind of get started and I'll ask you, Melissa, like you're brand new to career coaching. You've been recruiting, luckily, just as you were shifting, maybe you wanted to do that, maybe even starting your own business with that, or just working with me. Um, it's different from recruiting, but if you want to speak to your experience, I don't know what your plans are completely, if you want to start your own business or just work for someone doing that. And we talked a little bit and share what you want or don't want to do here on the live, obviously, <laughs> 
but anything that would be helpful from your experience so far, just since we've been working for only know how long the time period's been and what that experience has been for you and how it's been good or bad or scary or great, or to share some of that information, I think would be helpful. Yeah. Well, I'll say, you know, even last night, I actually got a message on LinkedIn from somebody. It was a candidate that I had worked with within my last organization. And he reached out. He's like, you know, I'm still looking. I didn't take the job there. He's like, I'm in something right now that I I'm okay with, but I really want something else. And I said, Hey, you know, it's, I'm actually kind of thinking about doing some career coaching. I'm working with my mentor, Diane, and I'm not really sure where I'm going to go with it, but it's totally different than being a recruiter. Mm -hmm. It really is. I said, it's not you just applying to something and then you're going into a company or a corporation and then you're working with a recruitment team. You Mm -hmm. are you are being coached and guided through your career. You're going to market. We're representing you. We're partnering with you. It's just a different spin on it a little bit, though it's still recruiting, but Mm -hmm. it's just from a different view of it. Mm -hmm. So I said, Hey, if you want, you know, we can do a clarity call. We can talk about what it is that you're looking for and just kind of get an idea as to what kind of jobs you'd be interested in. And then if you're interested in maybe a video resume we can help you incorporate that. You can give me some titles of different jobs that you're interested in, the locations you might be interested in. And then we can go and and pinpoint those. And we work with you until we identify where you want to land. So it's like a progression of time that we would work with you. And it's just a different spin. I mean, there's so many people who are applying to things, going into companies and waiting and waiting and waiting, going through an interview process that takes forever. This is more of like, even just recently, because I am in between right now. Mm -hmm. And I had two interviews recently and they both came through referrals. Mm -hmm. So somebody I worked with in the past and they're like, Hey, I've got, I saw a job out there for you. Wanted to introduce you to somebody I used to work with. And then within 24 hours, I was in an interview with an executive vice president and a CIO of a company. And I'm like, wow, that was fast. You know, (laughs) referrals are the best, right? Like businesses are built on referrals. Yep. Absolutely. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So So good. good. Oh, that's awesome. And so how in talking on the career coaching side, how did that the I, the guy that you're speaking to, the candidate, how did he respond? That is very different in people's brains about coaching, career coaching specifically versus the old way of just being a recruiter. Right. Well, he said he would definitely be interested in talking about it. He hadn't mm-hmm. thought about it that way before, but he would absolutely be interested in having a mm-hmm. conversation, learning more about it. So okay. we actually need to connect next week. Perfect. All right. Excellent. And so what I love about this is that this is something that you can do in the side, just like you heard Melissa talk about, you know, she can still pursue whatever she wants during the day job, you know, and we're all out there. Originally, we had these corporate jobs to make the money and so maybe our side business can build up to replace it. That's often the dream of a lot of women, replace that six figure salary the corporate was giving you and just do it on your own, your own time. But it mm-hmm. takes a while to get there. I mean, I started that 20 years ago and it took a while to kind of build that. And, but you can do that on the side. And I think once you can speak to that as well, where you're still going after whatever you want, kind of the day job, so to speak, but You've been able in what, less than a month to make some of this at least side uh, hourly money, little cash injections for the holidays, like we talked about originally, to now probably after these next couple of clients come through, uh, bigger numbers coming in commission-based in a way. Um, That's happened pretty quickly, it feels like, right? We're starting from scratch. Right. Well, you know, you have to kind of uh, get over the fear of reaching out to people. (laughs) And I incorporated, you know, even just what I've always done with recruiting. I'm like, hey, hi, how are you? I just wanted to touch base with you. See if you might be interested in a career advisory business. Mm -hmm. And I had an individual who reached back out and said, you know, I'd be really interested in being an entrepreneur in a career advisory, career coach idea. That sounds awesome. You know, I'd like to learn more about that. And it was just me sitting there on my couch one night and I just sent Mm -hmm. out a couple of messages and I got one. Response and I was like, hey, one in a hundred uh, works, you know? Oh, exactly. <laughs> it's all, it's like, that's all you need. I think women sometimes, it's, we all need to learn how to go get clients, right? Any kind of coaching business you're going to have to feed yourself, it all goes back, you know, to how do you find a client? And it's not as difficult as a lot of women make it. I mean, obviously, when you build up, you'll get more referrals and you're already in a career and you're established like we have. But then, really, it is. I was teaching someone today on a coaching call, you know, you get your phone out these days, doesn't have to be on the laptop, on the sofa. I'll spend 10, 20 minutes, kind of that, or a power hour, you know, outreach and send little messages and see what comes back. Um, and then so later, the more you do that through referrals, maybe those people don't get back to you, but they'll send that message to someone, right, to come to you. So it's almost like just putting yourself out there, not even caring about what comes back, but 
if it's meant to be, right? And whoever's meant to see that's going to get to them somehow. I learned that in recruiting too. It's not like for all my hard work. It's just that your heart's in the right place. You want to help someone get to a better spot. It feels good, right? Plus you get paid to do that also. Everyone kind of gets paid, especially in this recruiting coaching world. And um, yeah, and it's not as hard to get clients and track that as you would think. Um, the beauty of the program too, that we're doing, you know, we're training ladies right now, like Melissa, to learn career coaching. If you're already a recruiter, it's so much easier. You know, in our first quarter, it'll be even more fine tuned, this 10 week path that we're doing. And, you know, it can be really any coaching business you come and steal our pathway. I'm almost all about when I figure something out, I'm sharing it. Like I know there's proprietary stuff and some things are important to hold. A lot of work goes into it, but there's a lot of stuff out there you should put out there for free as a woman when you figure it out, whether it's a book, you know, you give to women on how you did it or what was easy, or this is the easy way to send LinkedIn's out, you know, one in, in an evening over wine or on the couch. And then, you know, within an hour, you can have someone reaching back out to you that wants to have a call. Um, and then I think, uh, tell me if you agree, Melissa, and again, anyone on this call, drop in the messages what you find the hardest part of attracting a client is. I'd like to know what's the biggest struggle for ladies so we can help. Because if it's the fear of reaching out to begin with, you know, I think we saw we can solve that with you pretty quick. You can have support, another woman helping you like us, but it's not so scary. We can show you exactly what to say so you figure it out. And then you just cookie cut it, right? And instead of time each day. But then the next part, I know a lot of women are like, well, a lot of recruiters I've trained for the years, they're like, well, you know, the closing of the con contract, right? When you're on your own. And what I love about the women that I train or people I've trained for the years, you know, like Melissa and, and others too out there, even currently going through this career coaching is that I'm on the call with you, right? So mm -hmm. you have a clue. I mean, I was in sales before I was a recruiter. So, you know, I had that kind of sales background anyway. So, um, and it's weird, but I still hate almost that sound of a salesperson. Like, I don't want to be salesy, you know what I mean? Right. So, yeah, I think all women fight that. But I think when you really know what you're offering and it's a value and it's to the point where you've made your offer when it comes to like the, you know, money wise and talk about well, how much do you charge for your time? You know, we all go through that and you want to help other women. You want to, you know, but this isn't a hobby. This is a business. But the main thing is you want them to understand how they can invest in themselves that time. It's not like a freebie thing. There's plenty of free information out there. But if you want to be serious and have someone work with you and help you, you're going to invest a little money and time with them. And what I love about career coaching is we line that up with exactly what you're going to ask your client for. So we wouldn't ask nothing of you or yourself, you know, that you wouldn't give, that you wouldn't then be asked to receive, right? So right. if you wouldn't put your money where your mouth is, then it's kind of hard to ask others to put the money where the mouth is, right? <laughs> <laughs> and so I think that's a lesson that I've learned through the years. And I've hired like mentors and coaches to help teach me that, but it's helped me get stronger. And when I offer something to another woman that I want to help, you know, or an executive Client. I keep saying her, a lot of our executive clients are still obviously male, which is fine. This is, you know, non-discriminatory, but we, we like looking to them when we can find them. But right. even in that executive, it's really just kind of knowing what you're offering and the value. So it's a no brainer. It doesn't feel salesy at all because you can close on that because look, this is our time we're putting in. We're going to partner with you and work with you. We want to make sure you're successful. It's not going to feel good if we enter in this like three month program together or one month or even just a call together, a half hour call. I mean, I always tell people when I first work with them on those clarity calls, right? I'll do like free clarities for referrals that are sent. But if it was out of the blue and people would send friends of friends, it was kind of like a hundred dollar, at least a minimum, just so I knew they were serious versus people just wanted to, you know, pump for information. Free information is great. Um, but after that call, I would always say, look, if you gain no value from this, you know, or even if you did, you don't want to continue, we're good. There's no charge, right? But mm -hmm. if you can see what this path that I'm showing you in the next 90 days, if this sounds good, then yes, then you can pay for this call. This will basically book your next call. You know what I mean? Because it's going to be a week to week program. This career coaching is a one on one program. And um, and I would say basically steal that path, the path that I'm making. Any coaching business you want to start, ladies, any business you want to start, it all has to be like in a 90 day container, right? It's like a business plan. And so you can really follow that from other women. And you can find any mentor out there these days whether you resonate with Melissa or I, and you're like, oh yeah, I want to be with these gals. They're doing it right now. I can jump in. Or if it's not us, that's okay. It won't hurt our feelings. If you take something from this live, you came across somehow and there's another mentor. I mean, I'll tell you, I watched one mentor myself um, about not starting the business side, but just um, growing the business to more, right? And for years without spending a dollar, just kind of taking all the free information you can, right? Mm -hmm. And so finally when I pulled the trigger, I did end up spending some money on some, you know, items with her, but really at the money I spent on another coach for myself was a lot more someone that's kind of came on my radar when I was more ready, you know, someone a little bit more aligned to me. 
maybe she was so far ahead of me, like 10 years ahead, this for other mentor, where um, this mentor is maybe like only a year ahead or she was starting something new. Like right now I'm starting with career coaching new. So it's like, we're all in it together. If you join now, you don't have to watch and see how it was done. You're just doing it with us, right? So in first quarter, you can become a career coach too, like we're doing, right? And make money like month one and then definitely month two and and then get a testimonial from it. Those are key, right? I'm talking yeah. too much more. So step in here at any time. <laughs> well, now I've had a couple of things go into my head. Um, you know, it's like, in, if you're thinking about corporation, because a lot of people who would be then going out of their own came from being in a corporation, right? Mm -hmm. So it's like that 30, 60, 90 day goal planning. And that's what this is. You know, you got 90 days to kind of ramp up to something and it's working with the authenticity of someone that's walking through the journey of life with you. So for myself, you know, when things changed for me unexpectedly, you know, I reached out to you and you were immediately positive, upbeat. You're like, whoa, I've got something going on in my world and I'd love to share it with you. And I would love to teach you. And that's what it's all about. I mean, this is like people who I may have worked with in the past through my recruiting experience, even if it wasn't something that worked right at that time, I would I would always leave it open. The way I always close any of my messages are always either, either way reach up back out to me either way, even if it's not right now, it could be in the future. I never want to burn a bridge. You know, I always want to be able to walk back over it again. So I've, I've repeated that so many different times because as I've learned, recruiting is a roller coaster ride. It's highs, it's lows, you never get off, but you never want to burn that bridge. You want to stay in contact with people. I mean, even um, just the other day, I, I had somebody reach out to me out of Canada. I'd worked with her. And she's still with the other company I was with. And she's like, hey, I just, um, congratulations. I updated some stuff on my profile. And she was like, congratulations. And, you know, let me know if you'd like a testimonial from our experience working together. And I was like, I would welcome one, you know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, like tell people about working with me and why you, you appreciated our connection, you know? Yeah. And that's how it always was with you and I, because I've always appreciated the connection that we had. And even if it wasn't working together the whole time, I've taken bits and pieces of the time that we've worked together and we've known each other. And I've incorporated that into myself. And I have brought that out into every other job that I've had and the people that I've worked with side by side. Now, that's fantastic. I love that. You're right. Just like, and the testimonial is so key because for any woman listening to us today, if you're a recruiter that wants to become a career coach or this a woman who wants to start an online maybe coaching business and right away, as soon as you just help that one person, that one first person might be a friend or someone you use love and you're helping them for free. We all, all those women start that way. It's almost like for free out of love, right? Mm -hmm. But then get the testimonial from them. And then next person, you know what? I'm going to help this person for just a hundred bucks. That feels more aligned because I'm just starting. Am I really, you're still questioning your value. But then mm -hmm. you help them, right? And you get a testimonial. And then it's like, it can go to $1,000. And then you grow that. And it's just a small tech by tech. But to your point, when you have kind of a mentor, like for, you know, us, we have that together. But then, um, you know, just any mentor with you by your side, it's not as scary either. They're like, okay, this is just the next step. So you're not spinning your wheels for, you know, a year to realize, oh, I should have got a testimonial, you know, <laughs> like right. that happened to me. I did, I was in business probably 10 years before I asked someone for a testimonial. <laughs> so, like, <laughs> duh. And well, one thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's true with LinkedIn helps with that now, right? That mm -hmm. was when LinkedIn came along, what, I forget what year that was, but when LinkedIn happened. I feel right? like that's yeah. been on LinkedIn for at least 15 years. Right. Yeah. That yeah. made a difference in our recruiter world and LinkedIn's mm -hmm. great for obviously getting clients in the recruiting and coaching world. Just like if you're doing other coaching, again, I'm thinking your friend Nels, um done with a farm, like that might be more the Facebook than the LinkedIn, but it's the yeah. same thing, you know, still taking people through and teaching and having a plan and anything they want to learn, you can kind of become a specialist in and help them. We're helping people because we know how to get them hired, right? We know how to get mm -hmm. them hired or do what we're doing. We can help people and that's our expertise. But, you know, the more, the older I get, every woman has a level of expertise in her <laughs> that she can train, especially when you take the expertise and train another woman, you know? And then when you're successful at that and grow that team a little bit, I just feel, I don't want to get like too woo-woo on this call off of corporate, but I feel it is how kind of women change the world. It's almost like, We've evolved from Facebook's been wonderful for all the friends and family and photos and sharing, but now to kind of extend that into these little specialty group communities and the way that LinkedIn's done that, like we're really connected. Now Zoom and video recordings caught up technology-wise. What used to take me forever IT to figure out is a lot quicker and easier now. I'm still like ridiculous, obviously, like the way I started this video live, <laughs> but you figure it out and, you know, right. there's no shame in that game. We're just trying to help people and get off. We might look stupid, but oh, well, you know, in the <laughs> beginning. So I think yeah, now's the time. That's real. 
you know, you're just putting yourself out there and you're being as real as you are. And that's the most important thing. Yeah. And that's how you help other women or help anybody in the world, right? Is being vulnerable, being real. This is what I've done. I'm not going to, we're not going to teach anything we haven't done ourselves yet. I want to, I'll test it first, market test it. And then, Hey, guess what? Like I'm making a few thousand extra or this, you know, or how do you hit six figures or 10 K wherever you are in your journey. If you've done it, then you can help someone else do it. And here's the path. Here's the 10 steps. And I think a lot of women too, you know, just to help you if you're thinking about starting a business or wherever you are, whoever's listening or watching, um, it's just step by step. And I think Melissa, you've seen that a little bit with this career coaching and even what maybe you're going through in your own life as well, because you kind of, you help other people that helps you, right? At this, right? It's a 10 step, my, well, my career coaching is 10 step process. You can make it an eight week process, a 12 week, but I like everything in a season, right? And it's like, if you're just moving the needle forward week to week, whether it's on your job hunt, whether you need our help with the resume, with the LinkedIn 500, the video resume is huge when you get, you know, for women that are in the corporate, like, but it's just week to week and having those, with other women that have been there, know what they're doing, and that kind of accountability partner, right? Almost like when you're a fitness partner, so make sure you go to the gym or, you know, or do your accounting and bookkeeping on time, right? There's like, that's key, that whole sisterhood, I think. Absolutely. Well, it goes back to kindergarten, you know, back to the basics. One, two, three, four, you know, here's what we need to do. Here's how you start. Here's the next step. And it's, it's baby steps. It really mm -hmm. is. Even if it's 20 years of time, you yeah. know, you've learned so much in all these little pockets throughout that time frame that you know how to break it down and say, okay, here's number one, let's start right here. And then it's the next step forward. And like your point with, you know, the career coaching and whatnot, it's like, you're giving homework because we all have had homework in school, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you're yep. homework and then you're actually doing homework with them too. So mm -hmm. you're, they're bringing back to you their ideas, their thoughts, their feelings on what they're looking for and what the, who they are. And then you're gaining information from that so you can go out and better research for them and then bring mm -hmm. something back to them. So you're also giving something back and they're, you know, it's a partnership. Yeah, for sure. I love that. It does feel like a true partnership. It's not like, I think a lot of uh, coaches or mentors, or if you partner, it's like, okay, here's what you do, like, good luck, right? And that's when you get free information out in the world. It is like you can read and absorb and watch all day long, consume all day, but are you doing the action, right? So, mm -hmm. as soon as you have something that you're actually hired to work with a little bit, like, okay, like week to week, did you do this? Was your homework? Did you go out and get these 10 job links that we can now support you and email your resume and, and click on the video link with it or all the things they should be doing or tightening up your little bio if you're an executive? And Right. It's like that, like you said, that easy homework week to week to make sure you're applying and not just watching, consuming, but you're right. creating. I, always, I know I say to like my kids that, you know, are you like when they're on their scrolling on their social media all day, like, are you just consuming or are you like creating anything today? <laughs> you know, right. it's like, are you a consumer or a creator? Like I prefer to be a creator because that brings me joy, whether that's creating a video with you here or trying to go paint, which I can't paint, but I still try or garden, you know, it's like create something like consuming is like soul sucking. Something. <laughs> so, well, good. Well, wow. We sat here and chatted easily for 30 minutes. So I'm hoping um, if the, I can't see who's watching anything, if the lady's got some value, um, but we can repost this if, um, you know, if for others to see and anyone that would be watching, please send us you can DM Melissa or I, right? Message, any questions, wherever you are on your journey. If you want to let us know what would be helpful for us to talk about, we're going to do this next week, Melissa. Do you feel comfortable? Yeah, and absolutely. So I guess my question, I'll think if it's helping more women is learning about coaching, starting a business, if it's the career coaching side, or if more recruiters want to learn. I almost thought about making a little recruiter roundtable, you know, just us women remote recruiters. So we'll see where this goes, right? As long as we're having fun doing it, it's helping people. We'll just keep it going and we'll do it at two o'clock next Wednesday if anyone wants to join us, I guess, right? That sounds perfect. Excellent. Well, Melissa, I'll see you tonight on a call with a new client, right? So <laughs> he already reached out to me and said he's very excited to reconnect tonight. <laughs> oh, yay. Okay. That's excellent. All right. We'll see you tonight. And thank you so much for joining me on this. Absolutely. Thank right. you. For Bye. <laughs> Bye. How do I end this thing? <laughs>